welcome back to my channel. It has been, oh gosh, over a year since I've done a studio vlog. I wanted to make a lot more of these videos, but I keep putting it off. I kept feeling like I had to make the perfect video and do the perfect tasks to record during the day, but we're not doing that. I decided to just pick up my camera and take you along with me today as we do some day in the life type of tasks. If you're also a small business owner, you probably understand when I say there is no typical day in the life. Things are constantly changing and the things that I work on during the day are so dependent on what projects I have going on. So if I have a new Skillshare class, I'm doing a lot of filming and editing. If I have a market coming up, like I have coming up in two weeks. There's a lot of prep that goes into that, so it's kind of all over the place. So I wouldn't say today is a typical day in the life, but we're doing some fun tasks and we're actually driving across the island to drop off some prints at the gallery in Kailua. So I thought it'd be fun to take you along with me. First things first, as I mentioned, we're gonna be picking up some art prints. I am dropping off a delivery of prints and cards to the Lauren Roth Art Boutique in Kailua. We'll be making that delivery later this afternoon, but first I gotta pick up my art prints, so let's go do that. so now we can get everything ready to go for the delivery this afternoon. Now, the way that I work with this gallery, it's a little bit different than my usual wholesale orders. So for wholesale, I have my whole product catalog on FAIR, which is basically a wholesale marketplace, so similar to Etsy, but for retailers. And so I have my products on there and the retailers can purchase things that they wanna have in their store and then I send it off to them. For the gallery, it's on consignment, which is kind of a cool way to do it. They select what they want and I deliver it to them and then I'm paid based on what has actually sold in the previous month at the gallery. We need to get the art prints together, I need to make a few more greeting cards and package those up, get the inventory list together, and then we can make the delivery. So first up, let's package up the prints. are now in their clear sleeves with the backing board to keep it nice and straight make sure they don't get bent. The last step for the prints now is getting more of my branding inserts printed out and cut so that I can slip them in there and then we'll move on to the greeting cards. Okay, all the art prints are done, so now we can move on to the greeting cards. I'm only doing a handful of each of the designs, and typically when I do wholesale orders or just larger orders of cards, I like to package them by set, just so they stay together a little better and the presentation's just a little nicer. So we can go ahead and do that, add them to the box, and then we can head over to the gallery. So when I told you there's not one typical day in the life of a small business owner, this is what I mean. I went to go print some more greeting cards. I've never had an issue with colors or anything like that. My printer has been great for the past two years. Of course, the day I try to film and the day I have to deliver an order of greeting cards, the colors all of a sudden turned out too blue. Never happened before. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So this is the first one that I started printing. This is where I noticed the colors were off. 
So this is what my Monstera greeting card typically looks like. It matches the original painting pretty darn well. And I've printed a lot of these since the collection launched, but then of course today when I go to print it, and you can see the difference, hopefully, it's a lot more vibrant, it's a lot more blue. It's like so off and it might not be as noticeable to someone who doesn't look at these all day every day, but to me it's completely wrong. And so I tested it with a couple of my other cards and had the same issues. The same thing happened with my hibiscus one. This one's a little harder to tell the difference, but this is the original, so it has light kind of earthy green leaves. And then this one, of course, is blue. <laughs> so. That's what I'm talking about. This is the issue that I ran into, so I've spent the past hour trying to find a solution. So I did a bunch of research on my Canon guide, did a couple of print head cleaning, did the deep clean, and it's finally looking more towards normal. It's still not the exact same as it normally is, but it's it's only a difference that I could probably tell if I'm like looking at two side by side. So it's getting there. I was able to print all the cards I need, and so now we can start packing them up. So now it's time to head over to Kailua. This is one of my absolute favorite drives across the island. It is just so beautiful. The mountains are lush and green. You get to go through some tunnels, so enjoy. All right, we made it to Kailua. I have my box full of goodies. I'm gonna go drop that off and then I'm thinking we need a little Starbucks run because it is two o'clock and I'm dragging. So let's get to it. Drop-off is done, it went really well, and I got to meet some really sweet customers that were in there, so that's always fun. And then we secured the Starbucks. If you don't already do this, hot tip, bring your own reusable cup to Starbucks. First and foremost, of course, it saves a plastic cup from having to be used, so that's the most important thing, but also they give you a 10, per 10 cent cup discount, and then some locations also give you 25 bonus stars, so it's a win-win. I got a nitro sweet cream cold brew. So now I'm gonna start the drive back and then we have a few more things to do to wrap up the day. So let's finish it out. All right, we made it back, but I'm gonna show you the current state of my studio. It kind of turned into a disaster with that whole printing issue. Papers everywhere, art prints everywhere, supplies everywhere. I gotta clean that up. is clean it's feeling much better in here so I have a few last things to do for the day a little bit of it is just boring computer work and some of it now that I got the printer settings figured out um, I have all of my test prints for the greeting cards so I need to cut score fold and package all these greeting cards I actually have a market coming up on November 5th so a couple weeks from now I haven't done a market in over a year, so I have a lot to figure out just in terms of getting all my pricing signs together, getting all my products, figuring out how I want to do the table layout, all of that stuff. There's a lot that goes into 
having a booth at a market. So I'll probably do a whole different video on that, just like prepping and taking you along with me to that market. But for now, I'm just gonna get these cards ready to go. So let's do it. I do get a lot of questions, especially on Instagram, about how I design, print, package, and sell my greeting cards from home. It was quite a process of trial and error, um, and I actually have an online class. It is available on Skillshare and on my website for those of you not on Skillshare, and that class walks you through my entire process from designing the card in Photoshop to printing, making test prints, color adjustments, scoring, folding, trimming, packaging, all the good stuff. So I'll link that down below if you're interested. here for today. The light is starting to get a little dark in my studio and the rest of the night honestly is just going to be boring computer work. I have some emails and I'm working on my next Skillshare class. I need to outline that and start scripting everything for that. So that won't be very exciting to film but thank you again for coming along with me today. Like I said there is no typical day in the life. I'm not usually going over to the other side of the island. I'm not usually prepping for markets. Like I said, I haven't done a market in about a year, but still fun to have you come along with me and I will see you in the next video.